One of the largest volcanic systems in the world is found in Yellowstone. It is situated above one of the mantle's hotspots regions, from which hot plumes erupt and cause volcanoes to emerge on the crust above. The Yellowstone supervolcano is thousands of times more powerful than a normal volcano. Volcanologists, who have been monitoring this activity since 1923, estimate that between 2004 and 2009, the ground rose by around 25 centimeters, around 9.8 inches. But in 2010, the ground started to sink. Many scientists are speculating about the possibility of an impending Yellowstone eruption due to the period of gradual, continuous growth. Another significant eruption from the supervolcano under Yellowstone National Park could send ash flying thousands of miles across the United States, destroying homes and other structures, killing crops, and shutting down power facilities. It would be a terrible disaster. What is happening in Yellowstone National Park? Will there be an explosion soon? And how will it affect us? In this video, we will delve into the geological history, the unique features, the science behind its behavior, the risks it poses, and the ongoing efforts to monitor and understand this extraordinary natural phenomenon. The Yellowstone volcano has been around for millions of years. In contrast to typical stratovolcanoes like Karimsky volcano, which are connected to subduction zones, Yellowstone is a hotspot volcano. This suggests that a stationary plume of hot molten rock coming from the Earth's mantle is generating a number of volcanic structures as the North American tectonic plate moves over it. It is capable of an eight magnitude outburst there have been three significant eruptions, and each one produced a caldera. One happened 2.1 million years ago, other 1.3 million years ago, and one 664,000 years ago. The most significant eruption in Yellowstone's history occurred around 640,000 years ago, leaving behind a colossal volcanic depression known as the Yellowstone Caldera. This massive crater, stretching approximately 30 by 45 miles, is a testament to the immense power and scale of past volcanic activity in the region. Yellowstone attracts a lot of attention due of the likelihood of catastrophic super eruptions. Any eruption that has an ejection volume of at least 1,000 cubic kilometers or 240 cubic miles with a volcano explosivity index magnitude of eight or above is referred to as a super eruption. In that case, Texas would be buried five feet below the surface. The strength of these super eruptions is thousands of times greater than the greatest eruptions we are accustomed to. 2,429 earthquakes were noted in the Yellowstone region in 2022, with the greatest being a magnitude 4.2 event on May 11, according to the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory report. That was the biggest in the area since a magnitude 4.4 earthquake in 2017. The number of earthquakes in 2022, according to scientists, was slightly lower than what was observed in 2021 but it was still within the range of yearly earthquakes. Swarms, which are collections of earthquakes that are grouped together both in location and time, were responsible for about 66% of the earthquakes. A 12-hour period in March saw one such swarm, which included 60 earthquakes, with magnitudes ranging from 0.1 to 3.7. While more than 1,100 earthquakes were observed throughout the second half of the year, around Grizzly Lake between Mammoth Hot Springs and Norris Geyser Basin, this was the most notable swarm. Earthquake swarms of hundreds to thousands of occurrences, lasting for months, are not uncommon in the Yellowstone region, happening every few years. The Yellowstone caldera reportedly receded by one two inches in 2022, according to the report. This was temporarily stopped during the summer as a result of a small increase in groundwater pressure brought on by melting. When the underlying magma chamber is emptied and the ground above it descends into it, a collapse feature called a caldera is created. Lava Creek Tuff, the ash deposit left over from the most recent large explosion, was first thought to represent two geological components, according to scientists geologists discovered many new units of the Lava Creek Tuff, 
This finding suggests that the eruption was significantly more complex than previously believed. If the Yellowstone volcano were to experience a massive and catastrophic eruption, it would have significant and far-reaching consequences due to its status as a supervolcano. While such an eruption is incredibly rare and not expected to happen in the near future, understanding the potential impact is essential for risk assessment. A super eruption from Yellowstone would likely release an enormous volume of ash, gases, and volcanic debris into the atmosphere. This ash cloud could reach high altitudes and spread over vast areas, impacting regional and even global climate patterns. The ash can block sunlight, leading to a temporary cooling effect on the planet, also known as volcanic winter. This cooling could disrupt agriculture, affect ecosystems, and cause significant changes in weather patterns for several years. The immediate vicinity of the eruption, within a radius of hundreds of miles, would experience catastrophic destruction. The explosive force of the eruption could level forests, destroy buildings, and create a wide area of devastation. The intense heat, pyroclastic flows, a mixture of hot gases and volcanic particles, and lava flows could cause widespread destruction of infrastructure and pose a significant threat to human life. The volcanic ash and gases released during a super eruption can have long-lasting effects on the climate. These aerosols can remain in the atmosphere for years. The ash cloud from a supervolcanic eruption can pose a significant hazard to air travel. Ash particles can damage jet engines, leading to flight cancellations and rerouting. The widespread impact on air travel could have economic consequences and disrupt transportation networks globally. The recovery process from a supervolcanic eruption would be challenging and require significant resources. It's important to emphasize that the likelihood of a catastrophic eruption from the Yellowstone volcano occurring in the near future is extremely low. The volcano is carefully monitored by scientists and early warning systems are in place to detect any signs of increased volcanic activity. While the Yellowstone volcano does present geological risks, these risks are continually assessed and preparedness measures are in place to mitigate potential impacts and protect the safety and well-being of nearby communities. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating space-related content. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.